Regardless of what type of job site you are on, there are always loud noises. When we are exposed to loud noises over long periods of time, or even short periods of time, when the noise is above 140 decibels, we are at increased risk of losing our ability to hear. First, we want to reduce the sound levels at the source. Maintain equipment in proper working order. Well-maintained equipment will operate more efficiently and be quieter. If possible, place equipment out of the way of yourself and other workers. If we cannot prevent exposure to sound, we can reduce our exposure by using hearing protection. To determine the best type of hearing protection, we need to know a few things about the work environment, such as the duration of time spent in noisy environments, the degree to which sound levels vary in the work environment, and the sound levels, which can be measured using a sound level meter. NIOSH recommends that worker exposures to noise be reduced to a level equivalent to 85 decibels for eight hours to reduce occupational noise-induced hearing loss. Here's how to use hearing protection properly. Hearing protection should not cause you discomfort. If it does, ask for other options. If foam earplugs are used, they should be inserted correctly into the ear. Earmuffs are easy to use, but may not offer the same level of protection as earplugs. Always check the noise reduction rating of the earmuff or earplug to ensure you have the right level of protection. Your hearing never fully recovers once it's damaged. Take care of your hearing and keep yourself safe on the job with our Toolbox Talks app available at toolboxtalks.info.